welcome in this class we would understand some of the important things that have been discussed in down to earth this time so one is the pest attack in the regions of bhubaneswar so there has been uh, one of the uh, mechanical engineers who has developed a device which is known as kisan no it is a device based on solution to help detect the microbial infections or pest attacks using thermal imaging so this thermal camera along with a microprocessor can collect the data and send it to the server produce any abnormal trees that could be present and odisha institute of agriculture technology based researchers have been validating this so that's a really important development the next is the warming over the recent years we have seen <coughs> excuse me a very high temperature records more than 2 degrees celsius above the pre industrial levels now this has been significantly high and even in the european areas they have been considered high the emission gap report has said that the world could reach a 2.5 to 2.9 degree celsius higher than expected and australia for the first time is allowing climate migrants to enter into country so that's really an important development the next is the rabi coverage is uh, nearly 9 lakh hectares less than the 2022 and that's really a matter of concern this time uh, the coarse grains including the millets have seen a increase in the coverage to nearly 3 lakh hectares over the time but there has been erratic rainfall a uh, prolonged uh, kharif harvest which was seen and this has led to led to delay in the rabi crop and that is one of the reasons we are seeing a lesser crop for rabi the next is we have seen uh, some of the important topics which relate actually to the issues uh, dealing with the uh the us china deal right so it was the cop uh, 28 which has to be mentioned here really really important and there are two major polluters us and china and they have set an agreement for clean energy and reducing the greenhouse gas the highest amount of methane emission is seen by us and china again and there have been efforts for the same Kundru is what is known as ivy cod it is a finger sized small cucumber type uh, species which is a little sore uh, known as tendli in maharashtra it is known as uragai in uh, telugu and by different names in different parts it is one of the spicy pickles it is also considered as a medicine and ayurved to control blood sugar the leaves are used for biliary disorders and roxia cough and diabetes uh this vegetable can be uh, consumed as a simple uh, vegetable which could be uh, cooked using uh, the various ingredients and pickles that are there there are 25 species of it of which the cochinia grandis is the only which is found outside the tropical africa it turns red on maturity and it is naturally grown in grasslands and dry forest areas the fu- the fruit is a smooth green and is a berry shape it is a good source of protein calcium fiber vitamin a and b uh, the leaf is known for various diseases for example for the treatment of leishmania or kala azar it is also known for wound healing it is known for its antioxidant properties for skin products cucurbitacin b is found which is entry prophylactic and this is uh, also used for treating cancer cells also there has been fruiting in the south and the central india which occurs the year round in the north it is usually in the month of november that it is seen uh, this is seen in the natural forest of odisha jharkhand chatisgarh and andhra uh, also the central horticulture experiment station <coughs> excuse me bhubneshwar is a regional research center of the institute of horticulture research in bangalore and has been working on the various varieties its tolerance and high resistivity the next is pandemic and the social impacts of pandemic we have seen that the pandemic has brought a lot of economic impacts to it but there has been health emergencies and immediate health concern the ripple effect has been seen for generations to come and there has been a pressure on the changing lifestyles pressure on the environmental crisis that has been created and it is believed that due to pandemic the world would not be able to meet the de- designated sustainable development goals the levels of poverty have been increasing there are little resources left for the people and economy is on its collapse in most of the regions and that's one of the major uh, factors which pandemic has led to 
The next is the issue related to the Silkiara barcode tunnel and the collapse of the tunnel. We have covered a separate lecture where we have talked about this rip, slip circular failure, which was considered as one of the causes for the tunnel collapse. Now, this was part of the Chardam Pariyojana, which is a 4.5 meter long tunnel uh, connecting the region of Yamnotri. And this was under development by National Highway and Infrastructural Development Corporation. This was uh, passed in 2014. The region was considered to have it's a mandatory to have an escape passage for tunnels longer than 1.5 kilometers but this did not have the same also uh, tunnel seismic prediction has to be required for every 100 meters uh, you go into the tunnel before you start the mining and the explorations in the tunnel uh, also the bedrock has to be studied there have to be exploratory drills that have to be taken into place and there are various uh, suggestions regarding the same the next is the soil quality now soil quality is highly linked to the malnutrition levels across India we have seen that but where the soil is deficit in zinc there has been higher cases of malnutrition so some of the most common causes of malnutrition uh, in India include zinc deficiency and iron deficiency and India is home to nearly one-third of the two billion population which suffers from micronutrient deficiencies one form or the other and the regions where the soil conditions are unhealthy we have higher number of unhealthy children in India more than 40 percent of the children under five years suffer from stunting in 161 districts across India. Now zinc if applied to rice, wheat, maize, oat uh, by over 75% can actually have a higher yield in comparison to if they are only grown with nitrogen phosphorus, uh, phosphorus and so on. So definitely this is again an important thing. There are micronutritional deficiencies in the soil for the various uh, elements that has been seen here. Uh, then we also understand the studies which have been released to understand the micronutritional deficiency and this is based on the soil uh, sample analysis from a large section right uh, the health data has said that nearly 0.3 million children and 1 million women according to national family health survey are uh, in one form or the other form having deficiencies mainly from the zinc and iron zinc has an important role in growth of cells in by building the protein and a healthy immune system iron is important for hemoglobin and carries oxygen to all parts of the lungs right there has to be uh, studies which have shown that the stunting actually reduces as the number of uh, or the amount of zinc consumption actually increases. So one uh, standard deviation off and on is what, what is seen. The next is uh, there was a restriction by WTO and India has reduced the tariff imports on turkey and duck from 30% to 5% which is significant. Also there has been reduction in the tariffs on almonds, walnuts, apples, Fro frozen and fresh fruits uh, this is again a matter of concern among the domestic market there have been unsettling uh, moves because of it uh, in 2007 the ban was imposed because of the h1n1 uh, uh, sorry the avian uh, influenza that is spread in 2017 india opened the market but the tariffs were considerably higher and now the tariff rates have further declined to 5% which has increased or opened the markets. Now in India we do not allow the genetically modified uh, species however US allows the genetically modified species and that is again a matter of debate because US is one of the largest producers of poultry meat in the world and second largest exporter. The next is plastic. Now plastic and bringing legal issues under plastic the single use plastic the size of the microns is really important in paris meet it was decided that we would release a proposal for zero draft ahead of the nairobi session there have been addresses on the same now under the proposed zero draft there were discussions regarding the institutional arrangements and final uh, provisions this talked about 13 elements from primary plastic polymers <coughs> 
excuse me chemical polymers and waste management this draft has increased from 31 pages to 100 pages of text and there have been no significant measures that have been adopted as i said under cop 28 methane is one of the important topics of discussion one of the important gases contributing to the greenhouse gas emissions and the amount of methane in the atmosphere has significantly increased from 0.5 to 0.8 which is a significantly higher number there has been a sixth report of ipcc which talks about the increasing proportion of methane into the atmosphere and the pollution of the methane is caused by some of the major oil and gas companies which are located in seven major nations if we talk about the global percentage of emissions the highest is by china followed by us and india brazil and russia qatar and new zealand on the lowest edge still there have been strategies which have been enforced for example qatar has been talking about uh, the world bank's global gas flaring reduction new zealand again talking about the emission trading scheme australia talking about methane reducing life stocks in india we are talking about the gobardhan scheme green fodder production uh, which is some of those us has talked about inflation reduction act which incentivizes the methane uh, mitigation similarly china has been talking about a technology to reduce the intensity of methane uh, to be produced but there are some oil producing nations mainly us saudi arab uk and russia these tell oil companies have the highest amount of methane emissions which can be recorded on a day to day basis now air pollution with a very high dose of pm 2.5 has been seen and the delhi atmosphere had been polluted significantly because of it now because of the air pollution there has been higher amount of toxins which has been fatal to neonatals as well as maternal maternal uh, mothers right uh, mothers as well and this has been one of the reasons for stillbirth preterm birth and low weight low weight of the baby leading to lower respiratory infections because a child uh, child's uh, respiration is twice as that of an adult and this could significantly damage the uh, lung development of the child at a younger age the maternal inflammatory response is also affected and this affects the maternal immunity there can be uh, impact uh, to an individual in terms of brain disorders blood disorders neurological disorders which is uh, uh, the attention deficit hyperactivity syndrome there is low intelligence or impaired neurodevelopment as we said the breathing rate of child is much higher and therefore uh, air pollution needs to be specifically taken into account seriously there have been various sources from anthropogenic which is predominantly the vehicles industries traffic and the burning of the waste uh, german and uh, czechoslovakia have talked about reducing the pm 2.5 with increasing height above the ground and this could be one of the ways where uh, the child health could be conserved at a higher height we could say right uh, we have also seen studies from china where the ovarian reserve uh, has been affected and this has again brought an impact to the mother or the child in uh, that lieu right and there have been years which have been lost reduction in the life expectancy has been seen because of it so 2.5 particulate matter is significantly unsafe for newborns india nigeria and pakistan account for nearly 60% of the disabilities because of it uh, we have some of the maps which should be available in the handouts that you can check some other important developments include the amendments on the state regulation for allowing the tribals in the scheduled area to sell and mortgage the land to the non tribal entities then we have the paddy crops that have been uh, attacked in the regions of assam due to rice uh, ear cutting caterpillar which has impacted nearly 15 districts there have been uh, patents related to cannabis and the world weather attribution which is a collaboration of scientists focuses on extreme events because of climate change and the ongoing drought in the regions uh, drought in the regions of Iran has been studied in Ireland Iceland we have seen that more than 4000 earthquakes have been experienced which has led to a series of uh, th that have been because of a, a volcanic trigger and it has led to closure of schools and educational institutions in the region as well also uh, we are talking about one of the herbicides uh, which is the use of glycophosphates and that uh, has been extended this was considered as carcinogenic 
carcinogenic by WHO. However, later it was classified as non-carcinogenic by US, but it is still under controversy. And then banning the single-use plastic, it's not just an initiative of India, but even countries like Canada have been working for it. Right. So those are some of the developments that we have seen under down to earth this fortnight. We would be covering the uh, details in the next fortnight session as well. Stay tuned for our regular updates on Yojana Kurukshetra down to earth. The handouts for these are available on examrace.com. Don't miss. Thanks for joining in.